Alrighty, let's take a look at how I created that list of fake email addresses. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm in my spreadsheet, I'm gonna actually go to the website listofrandomnames.com because I just want these to be randomized names. I'm gonna select 50 names. I want them to be both male and female. I don't want just the first names, I want the first and last names, and I don't really care if they use alliteration. So I'm gonna generate my list. And on the right here, you can see I have a mix of male and female um, first and last names. So if I hit Control A or Command A on a Mac, that's gonna select everything. So that's the select all shortcut, and that's gonna select everything on the left here. I don't really wanna do that. So you can see here, I can export as a list in a text area. If I select that button, then I can just click anywhere in this list, and now I can try my Control A or my Command A on a Mac, and I've selected all of it. I've selected every name. So from here, I wanna copy it. So if you'd like, you can right click and just select copy, or if you're using keyboard shortcuts, you could do Control C or Command C. So I've done that, and now all that information is copied to my clipboard. I'm gonna go back into my spreadsheet, and to paste it, I'm gonna do Command or Control V. So um, Control V or Command V pastes all of those names in my list. But obviously that's just the first and last name. That's not necessarily the format that I want it in an email. So the first thing I'm gonna do is split this text into two columns because I want my email format to be the first initial and the last name. So to manipulate that, I want the first name and the last name in different columns. So to do that, I'm gonna select my column by pressing on that letter A to select the whole column. And I'm gonna to try to split that into two separate columns, one for the first name and one for the last name. So to do that, I'm coming up to data and I'm scrolling all the way down to split text to columns. When I click that, you can see down here towards the bottom, it says, what is my separator? It could detect it automatically or I could select. Is that information separated by a comma, a semicolon, a period? In this case, um, clearly there's a space between those names, so I'm gonna select space. And when I do that, it's perfect. I've got my first name separated and in another column, it split out those last names. So I'm gonna change my header here to say first name and last name. But um, that's good, but most email formats, these are all lowercase. So I'm gonna create two more columns, lower first and lower last. And I just want the lowercase version of those names. So to do that, I'm gonna use a function. I'm gonna start my function with an equal sign, and then I'm gonna start typing the word lower in all caps. And I want this cell Oops, it didn't, it didn't look like it picked up. So I'm gonna type equals, there we go. And as I type lower, you can see now it's finding that, that function that I wanna use. So I'm gonna select the lower function and then it's asking me what text do I want to make lowercase? So I'm gonna select um, just the first cell in my first name because this is the, the first name lowercase. So I'm gonna select Emerita there and I'm gonna close my parentheses and push enter and you can see it turned her name into lowercase. If I double click this fill handle, um, it should, a lot of times that'll populate all the way down, but in this case it didn't. So I'm gonna drag that fill handle all the way down to the end of my data right here. And now I have all of my first names in lowercase format. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the last names. So I'm gonna start typing equals and then lower. It'll recognize that. And I'm gonna select my texts as the last name. So Bale is the first last name that I want in lowercase. Close my parentheses press enter, and again, I'll just drag this all the way down to the bottom of my data set. So now I have it in the format I want that most emails are in, a lower first name and a lower last, but a lot of email conventions will just be the first letter of the first name and then the last name, so ebail at something.com. So I'm gonna create a new um, header or a new column here and say uh, first initial. And here's where I want to take just the first letter of the first name. So to do that, I'm gonna say equals, and then I'm gonna say left. So it's looking to the left of this, and I'm going to select my string, and then the string in this case is that name. So if I just, again, if that parenthesis is started, then I can just click in that cell, and I'm going to put a comma because it's asking me the number of characters that I want. Well, I just want their first one. I don't want the EM or the EME or anything. I just want that first initial of the first name. So I'm gonna say I want one character. So when I do that, you can see it's just pulling just the E in lowercase for their first initial. 
So um, here, when I double clicked it, it actually worked this time. When I double clicked that fill handle, that formula came all the way down and it started pulling for all of those. So now I have my first initial in lowercase format. So basically, I'm, I'm most of the way there. I've got a lowercase first initial. I have the full last name in lowercase. So now I just need to combine those and put an at something.com and that'll be my email address. So I'm gonna create one last column for my fake email address. And this is the concatenate function. So concatenate just means to kind of uh, link two things together. So I'm gonna begin my function with an equal sign. I'm gonna start typing the word concatenate and you can see it pops up here. And it's asking, well, what things do you wanna to put together? So it gives me an example. Um, if I wanna put a word, notice that it's in quotation marks. Otherwise, I can just click on the cell if the, if the characters that I want are in that cell. So what I want is the first initial and then I'm gonna put a comma because my next string that I want is the full last name. So it's first initial, last name, and I want something at, you know, at, um, we're gonna say, and I'm putting this in quotation marks because it's exact text that I want. All of these I'm gonna say at Dmail because my first name is Derek and um, I don't want these to be confused with real email addresses by putting Gmail or Ymail or any of those other options. So I'm gonna say at Dmail and I'm gonna look at my function. So I'm gonna close that with the parentheses. It's taking my first initial, you can see in the orange here, it's combining it with a full last name. And then after both of those, it should put at dmail. And really, I need to add dmail.com in there to make it a real email address or real fake email address for that matter. So I'll push enter. And you can see it's concatenated both of that. So again, hopefully, if I double click this fill handle, it'll do it for all of them. So this is the text. Now I can select all of this information. And those are the fake email addresses that I created just by generating one list of names. So I hope that was helpful. It used a few different functions. It, we, split, um, we split text into multiple columns. We used a lowercase function to kind of make all of that text lowercase. We used the left function just to pull the first character from something that we had previously. And then we used the concatenate function to combine it all into a fake email address. And now I have something that's pretty anonymized and I feel free um, to use in my tutorials. Thank you.